build it and they will come doesn't really apply to marketing your medical practice. You want to continue to add content to your website. This is called patient content marketing. and We're going to show you three ways that you can improve your patient content marketing. A content marketing strategy is fairly simple. Create good content, put it where your patients can see it, and then repeat. But if you do any of these steps wrong, it can be a waste of your time, a big waste of money, and won't result in any more patients coming to your website. First, let's look at creating the content. There's nothing more intimidating than a blank sheet of paper, digital or natural, just to stop anyone in their tracks. Creating content is difficult, but we're going to show you a couple of ways for you to create your own or source it from some very helpful sources. Question and answer formats are the absolute easiest. What you want to have is a typical layout, a summary of what you're going to say, then those questions, and then a summary of what you just said. Any content you write, any content at all, will help you with search engine results because it's continuing to feed the machine. Syndicated content is kind of maligned by both doctors and by SEO experts. Syndicated content means you're getting your content from a credible source. So syndicated content from a quality source is fine for you to use. The last place, easiest place to get good quality content is from your medical device company. Ask your reps about what kind of content syndication programs, videos, whatever they've got to bring to the table. Ask them and they can likely give you some good quality content. SEO and localization. I've said those words already, but here's what I want you to know about them. SEO, search engine optimization, is the means for you to take a piece of content, arrange it so that the keywords and phrases that people search for appear higher, or marking it up. Next thing is localization. If you do not put your city and state in your uh, SEO title, the little tab at the top, and ideally throughout your article, you won't show up because Google isn't that magical. It doesn't really necessarily know where you are. So you always want to localize content the best you can, especially if it's treatment content. Post things on social media. Now I'm on the fence about the effectiveness of social media because let's be realistic, if you're not putting up a cat picture, what you had for lunch, kids or wife, then it's just not as interesting. It's not social, it's educational and who wants that? So on Facebook and Twitter, when you are posting articles, use short kind of attention grabbing phrase. But here's the best thing about it. If you post it on Facebook and no one looks at your content, you still have a great link back to your website from a valued source, Facebook. Same thing for Twitter. So don't worry about how many friends or followers you have. Those will build on time. Maybe they won't. Not going to matter to Google. All they know is you've got a link from these sources. So go ahead and post. Last thing we want to talk about is emailing and linking to your content. You want to create an email strategy, and this is something most doctors fail to do. Your number one source of patients is referrals from other doctors, right? Your second is word of mouth. To get that word of mouth, your patients have to be thinking about you. Now, after they've engaged with you and they've gone off, how do you stay in touch with them? An email newsletter is your new best friend. So you can put list of your patients. You are collecting their email addresses, right? Put those lists on MailChimp and then take content that you write quarterly and you put that in a very simple templated email newsletter on MailChimp, mail it out to all of your patients. But don't send them the whole article. Send them the first line and then say read more and link it back to your website. That's going to keep you top of mind. Even if they don't open your email, they see your name, they remember you. So that's a great strategy. It's zero cost to you and you'll want to do that because you're adding more content to your website, continuing to grow that website, and you're bringing in external sources and hopefully more patients.
Last step is repeat. Create more content and distribute more content across these different channels. This creates a network of content marketing and different touch points. There's a lot more you can do. If you have a LinkedIn profile page, post to that. You can reuse the same content in multiple places. If you're an orthopedic surgeon, Beckers ask a question a week. You can add your input into their content and ask for a link back. They'll do it. You can also put things on Pinterest if you're a pediatric focused surgeon. That's where the moms go. So there's all kinds of different ways to continue to build this kind of web that markets to your patients, but you have to keep doing it. Or your site will gradually drop. This works. Just continue to drip feed content into your website, always being the destination. Do that email marketing campaign. You'll be amazed at how effective it is. Those things will continue to boost you up higher and higher in the search rankings for your name, for your service line, and for treatments and conditions. I hope these tips have been of some help to you, and feel free to call us or email us at info at We'd love to help you.